Four years after the launch of the Color Maximite in 2012, the Micromite community has produced the Explore 100 based on Jeff Graham's Micromite Plus. It's taken me a while to get uh, around to playing with Micromite Pluses because I've been playing with the Micromite. This is a board I uh, laid out using Eagle and um, I used a uh, surface mount version of the 28 pin Micromite uh, and I've made this uh, to be a, a, a piggyback for the two line LCDs. So when plugged in uh, to the um, back of the LCD it's a nice compact uh, arrangement. I used the two line LCD in my SMS door opener which I've recently upgraded by necessity to the 3G telephone network. While I was at it I thought I'd also have a play with some old seven segment uh, LED calculator displays I had just to see what I could, whether the Micromite could drive those uh, LEDs directly and it didn't do a bad job. Um, this particular little test program is just calculating primes. Now since the Micromite's doing all of the multiplexing it only does the prime calculation when the display blinks so it's actually going a lot faster than it really seems to be. Along with the release of the uh, Micromite Plus, Jeff updated the software for the uh, standard Micromite so that it could also drive these touchscreen uh, LCDs uh, which are really quite impressive. I made this uh, little board based on um, a backpack design which had already been released uh, in Silicon Chip magazine. My first attempt at making the Explorer 100 kit ended in disaster when I realized that soldering a 100 pin surface mount chip is much harder than a 28 pin surface mount chip. Now this is the kit from Rick Tech in New Zealand. So we can see that uh, the parts are all nicely uh, sticky taped to this piece of paper. That makes it actually quite easy to find them. Quite good. But the most important thing The most important thing is that the surface mount devices, particularly the PIC processor, are already soldered to the rather nicely produced board. So the completed Explore 100 is intended to be used with a piggyback uh, LCD. This is the 5 inch one which uh, exactly fits uh, even with the hole alignment so you can mount it easily in a panel. But one of the interesting things about this of course is that uh, you can connect it to a keyboard making a modern version of a Color Maximite. The Color Maximite from 2012 could display colors from a palette of eight. It could also play sounds uh, simultaneously from uh, mod files. In terms of performance, uh, the Color Maximite could calculate the first thousand primes using a simple basic program uh, in just over 18 seconds. The 
Explorer 100 will also uh, uh, read uh, SD cards. Um, and it'll do a number of things. First of all, it'll do the same sorts of things as the Maximite color, the color Maximite would do. Uh, so I can run the G the graphic user interface test LCD panel very much like the previous Maximite but it'll also do things the color Maximite wouldn't do for example it can load 24-bit uh, color images Very exciting, and of course it's touch screen, so the color maximite doesn't do that. In terms of um, speed, it's actually a little quicker than the color maximite. So um, the uh, Explore 100, which uses the 100 uh, pin uh, maximite plus, uh, runs the 1000 primes basic program in about two seconds quicker than the uh, faster speed that the color Maximite could do. So I'm looking forward to experimenting with the Micromite Plus's touchscreen graphical user interface and I haven't even mentioned its ability to play wave sound files so lots of fun to come.